The Australian High Commissioner opened the Sand and Buck Art Gallery, visited Sopus Hospital, Enga College of Nursing, and a health centre at Hambum District. The projects that he opened were co-funded by the Australian government. Mr. Davis also opened Monocam Community Health Post in Combium Ambum Electorate, one of the four CHPs in the province. The health post is jointly funded by the national government, Australian government and Asian Development Bank. This will be a great, great addition to the services for all the people of this uh, this locality, but I think perhaps particularly for many of the women. The High Commissioner took up the post in PNG two and a half years ago. Enga was the first province he visited upon request by Enga Governor. Sir Peter Ipatas had told Mr Davis that Enga has missed out on basic services it should receive when Enga was still a district of Western Highlands province. This has prompted the Australian High Commissioner to make promise to support Enga's development in health, education and culture. Children from Australia, children from Papua New Guinea come together. That's going to be very, very important. We are neighbours. We will always be neighbours. One of the partners in the Monocam project is Jacob Luke, the owner of Mapai Transport. He used his own money to build road, water supply and electricity to the Monocam area. Mr. Luke said he funded the projects because the country's geographical setting is a challenge for development to reach little people. We'd like to thank the people that have facilitated this, firstly our, um, our elected member of the parliament that has initiated it and that took it to the Department of Works, not Works, it's the Health Department. Fasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.